Hello everyone, Jeff Stoker here again on uh, YouTube, uh, Campfire Ministries. Uh, so glad to be back on YouTube. I know I've not, I haven't been done a video in a couple of days. Uh, just been in some prayer on uh, where God wants me to go next on this. Um, and uh, I think where He wants me to go today is uh, we're going to talk a little bit about judging today. You know, it's, um, <clears throat> as I'm out, as I witness on Facebook and and out and about witnessing and stuff, I oftentimes run across one of her. You know, so I wonder why you know we point out what sin is to somebody when we you know maybe give some examples of sin. Sin uh, they they use the, you know the thing. Oh, you're being judgmental, and the Bible says not. To, and they, they they claim the well, the Bible says not to judge. And they always revert back to uh, to Matthew seven uh, um, chapter one, which is the is one of the most uh, <clears throat> misconceived scriptures in the in the whole Bible, and this is the most twisted to, that, that people try to use to justify their sins. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing, you know, Jesus wants us to, you know, in, in order for us to, to to repent of sin, we first have to know that we're sinners. We have to know what areas in our life that we may be sinning in. Uh, and that's the purpose of a, you know, a Christian going out and saying, you know, you know when they go walk, walk up to say, you know, like a homosexual or something, like you know what you know homosexuality is wrong you shouldn't be doing it god don't like it and then you know oh, you're being judgmental no, no you're not it's well you're <clears throat> to a degree yeah you are being judgmental because it's but the bible there's nothing in the bible that says not to they always refer back to uh to, to matthew 7 1 it's uh, the only verse they can never uh, most people revert back to let's take a look at uh, start there the, the very thing that they revert back to and we'll go from there uh, <clears throat> first of all, let's go ahead and open up in some prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this day. Lord, I just want to pray that you just be with me as I teach this YouTube video. And uh, Lord, I just want to pray that you just speak through me, Lord. And Lord, I just want to thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for, for your written word. Thank you for your spoken word. Thank you that, that I'm even able to hear your voice, Lord. And though I'm not worthy, Lord. And Lord, I just want to pray you forgive me for any word that I fail you throughout my whole life, Lord. As I am not perfect, Lord. And Lord, <clears throat> I just want to pray. Thank you that my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Lord, I also want to pray for those out there that do not know you. I want to pray that they, that, that they somehow come to know you, Lord. I want to pray for the lost out there, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, I want to pray for the sick and, and uh, the, those that are in need out there, Lord. I want to pray for those that are <laughs> in financial need and those that <clears throat> just need help all the way, all the way around, Lord. Uh, Lord, I just want to thank you for, uh, for for all the ministries out there that are doing your work, Lord. I just want to thank you that that you've you, you've given us a voice to to stand up for you, Jesus. And Lord, I just want to pray that you just help us to to let that let that voice touch some that that may not know you, Lord, and help us. To, uh, and Lord, as I teach this this lesson today, as I <clears throat> as I preach this this on YouTube today, I just ask that you hide me behind the cross. And let your light shine, Lord. I just ask that you increase as I decrease, Lord. In Jesus' name that I pray. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, if you go to Matthew 7, 1, like I was saying a second ago before we, before we went into prayer, that uh, <clears throat> oftentimes when you're out and you're, you're, you, know, you, you, know, you see somebody doing something wrong and you're, you're trying to help them, you know, lead them out of that lifestyle, They'll, they'll accuse you of being judgmental and, this, and, and try to say that the Bible says you're not supposed to judge. Okay, well, first of all, let's get something, get, get something out of the way. The fact that they're claiming that you're judgmental, they just made judgment on you. So that's, you know, it's actually, actually a hypocritical statement to say, oh, you're being judgmental because now that person just judged you. Okay? <clears throat> okay, now, uh, secondly, let's go ahead and go into the scripture that they try to use. Uh, you know, uh, starting with Matthew 7, 1. Okay, now sometimes, uh, sometimes they'll, they'll just use this and, and stop at that first verse. And they don't continue on. So Matthew 7, 1 reads this. Judge not that you be not judged. Now what does that really mean? See, it, it doesn't say not to judge. It says judge not that you not be judged. Okay. And what that is saying is, you know, you know, don't judge on something that you're doing. Don't be a hypocrite about judging. Okay, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, and then, and then, if you go on to verse two, it says, uh, "For with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged, and with what measure you you meet, it shall be measured to you again." Okay. 
Uh, the verse again, if you if you look at that, basically what that's saying, with well, you know, uh, judge not, lest that you, know, that you may not be judged. In other word, uh, another, uh, in in another book it says, judge not, lest thee be judged yourself. Um, now what that what that means is <clears throat> is you're not supposed to judge others according to stuff you're doing. Um, an example, you're uh, you're 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 a habitual liar, and you go tell somebody, you know, uh, to, to stop lying and and uh, don't, you know, and it's it's wrong to lie. That's that's being a hypocrite. You just made you know past false judgment on that person. Another example would be you accuse someone of something they're not doing. Uh, you go out there and you say, oh, you're sleeping with such and such, and they're really not. That's another thing. You just pass judgment with the uh, uh, false judgment. It doesn't say not. You know, it doesn't say point blank not to judge. It says no, judge not that you that you be not judged. Okay, well, for what judgment you you judge, you shall be judged. In other words, so if you if you make good judgment on somebody, then you're going to be a judge according to that. Uh, so if you're going out there and you say <clears throat> and you say to a homosexual, look. You know homosexuality is wrong. I mean, yeah, they're gonna fight you on it, so probably revert back to the scripture. Um, and, but you know, and then you go on to say, and look, you know, but you know, Jesus can forgive you for that. All you gotta do is accept Christ in your heart, and He'll lead you out of that. That's you know, that's that's the proper way to judge when you you, you know use it for the benefit of God. Okay, now going on with the, with it uh, in uh, Matthew seven, let's go on to verse three and see what that says. Why beholdest thou the mote in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam in thine own eye? Okay, why does it ask that? Okay, <clears throat> if uh, if you if you're in if you're living in a certain sin, you know, if it's a if it, you're you're trying to talk to somebody about something that you haven't overcome yet. Then, then you're blind to it yourself. You can't, it's, you can't really t show them how to get out of it because you're doing it yourself. Um, another example I can give on that. Um, let's say um, now, you know, I believe anything that 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 you put in your body that poisons it, you know, intentionally put in your body that poison it, poisons it, um, you know, is 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 a form of a sin too. Um, <clears throat> so let's say I'm going to use smoking as an example. And it's just an example. Uh, and let's say I smoke. Let's say I've been, you know, I'm, I'm a smoker, and, uh, and I walk in, and I see somebody else smoking a cigarette, and I walk up to him. You know, smoking is bad for you. You shouldn't be smoking. You know, God says not to smoke, but yet I'm sitting there with one in my hand. So that falls in that scripture. You know, and why behold is the mote in a brother's eye, uh, and, and considers not the beam in thine own eye. So that, in other words, if you're, if you, you don't, you can't go, you know, tell somebody something's wrong about <coughs> with, uh, that they're doing. If you're doing it yourself, if I'm out partying and drinking and you know uh, the, uh, sleeping around with everybody, I can't go tell other people not to do it because it's because I'm doing it myself. Uh, you know, Jesus tells us to walk by example. Um, uh, the, you know, Jesus tells us to walk by example. So the thing to do is is uh, is you know you, you you live your life for Christ, and then when you do come across someone that did this, you know. Uh, so you don't walk and you know go around sleeping with people and stuff like that as a Christian, and so when you have overcome all that stuff, then you can go tell others you know, about it and how to get out, how to get out of it. Okay, now moving on uh, to verse four. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull the mote out of that night on and behold, there is a beam out of their own. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of their own eye, then thou can see clearly to cast the mote out of thy brother's eye. So again. <coughs> Right there in verse five, and you, you know, you go try to preach somebody about something, you know, something that you're involved in. Uh, it's not going to be have no no effect because it's going to make you a hypocrite. But if you first take that beam out of your eye, then you can see clearly on how to help that other person. And at that point, you can make a righteous judgment. There's two different types of judgments, you know, that, you know that's the uh, that's talked about here. You know, unrighteous judgment. You blame somebody for something they're not doing. Or you know you're trying to you know, trying to lead them you know, out of something that you're doing yourself. It's like the blind leading the blind. Um, okay, and then uh, and if you go on if you go on to that, uh, go on down a little bit further on that, and uh, it'll actually say, beware of the false prophets, um, and beware of false prophets, for you shall know them. And it basically, it says, beware of the false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly there are ravening wolves, and it goes on. You shall know them by their fruits. 
Okay, if it says that you'll know false prophets by their fruits, doesn't that mean you got to make some sort of judgment to understand who you know you know to know their fruits? The word fruits here means their actions. Uh, no, we don't get them in heaven by good works alone. We get them by faith. But you'll know the the, the wolves in sheep's clothing by their actions. Are they going out and saying, "Oh, you shouldn't sleep with such and such," and then they're but yet they're they're harousing around with, with men or women themselves? So if they are, then that's going to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, <clears throat> or maybe in in the church they're, they're preaching one thing, but outside, you know, behind, you know, in, the, in the, amongst their congregation, they're preaching one thing, and out and about they're doing something else. That would be an example of a wolf in sheep's clothing. So are they preaching false doctrines? And again, you'll know them by their fruits. Uh, what do the fruits look like? Are they leading people to Christ? These are things to look out for. And, and see, in order to see that, you've got to make some sort of judgment. So the Bible, according to this, does not condemn judging. It condemns how you judge. Um, is what it condemns. It condemns false judgment or unrighteous judgment. Um, you shall know them by their fruits. Uh, do men gather grapes of thorns or or figs of thistles? Every good man, um, every, every, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. So see, you're making judgment. How do you know if that fruit's good or evil? You got to discern or judge whether it's good or evil. So, so again, that <clears throat> that's most misconceived. You know, a lot of most of you people try to justify their sins. You know, you know, when you try to, you know, when you're trying to lead them out, a lot of times we go revert just to to that one scripture: "Judge not, lest ye be judged." And they and they stop right there, but they don't know the rest of it. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a deeper look at that. Go with uh, let's go to John three sixteen. Um, a little bit past that, actually. We're going to start with John three sixteen, though. Um, you know, and, and and this will show in reality that uh, you know that people that that don't have Christ are judged already anyway. Um, and and uh, so if you go to John three sixteen. And of course, we all know that that scripture. You know, for God so loved the world that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. And then it says something, uh, something else. You know, a little bit further on. And uh, just give me one second to get that scripture up here. My computer's wanting to be a little bit slow. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> and I went to the wrong place. Um, we all know John three sixteen, but if you go beyond that. It actually says, you know, that he who believes not in Christ is judged, uh, is condemned already. Now Jesus didn't come to condemn the world, but but the but the world that the world through him might be saved. Uh, but he that believeth not on on the Son is you know is is condemned already. How I'll, I'll read word, word for word for you here in just a second. Here we go. For God so loved in John three sixteen through. We're going to go through through 19 okay and it says uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life uh, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved and the son is talking about Jesus Christ here he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth is uh, and the believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed on the name of the only only begotten Son of God, which is of course is Jesus Christ. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Uh, and and we're going to go ahead and go to twenty on this. For every one that doeth evil hath and uh, doeth, for every one that doeth evil hath the light uh, neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved again every one that doeth evil hath not the light neither cometh to the light lest, the, lest his deeds should be reproved but he that doeth the truth cometh to the light and his deeds may be manifested that, that they are wrought in God and so, see, that's again, you know, so in reality, you know, we're given the ability to judge and we're given the authority to judge, you know, you know by Christ. Uh, and, uh, but yet, we're already judged by, by our relationship with Christ. 
So I'm here to tell you today, if you don't want that condemnation without Christ, you need to get it right today. You need to give your life to Christ today, and you got to ask yourself, are you saved? If you don't know if you're saved, then you need to <clears throat> you need to get it right, people. I mean, you, you're going to know if you're saved. Um, and you have to have Jesus do that. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh through the Father but by me. And that's you know, not talking about me, but talking about Jesus. So you can't get to Christ, you can't get to God the Father except for through Jesus Christ. You can't get it through get get saved through through just straight religion. You can't. You know, Catholicism's not going to save you. Witchcraft ain't going to save you. Drugs aren't going to save you. Alcohol's not going to save you. Homosexuality is not going to save you. You're not going to get to heaven through homosexuality. You're not going to make it. To, you know. You're not going to make it to heaven through drugs or alcohol. I mean, yeah, they give you temporary pleasure, but, but you know, once this life is over, where do you think you're going to go when you die if you're involved in all these things? Uh, you know, you know, you, you know, it's like Jesus said, if you don't have him in your heart, guess what? You're condemned already, folks. So it, today is to get it to right, and Jesus also said today is the day of salvation. So if you want to get, get saved... You get, just give us a call. You don't have Jesus. If you don't know Jesus and you want to get to know Jesus, you can feel free to give me a call. You can talk to either myself or my or my wife Mary, either one. All my information will be at the bottom of this of this video. Feed and you and look me up on Facebook. I'll have links to that. Uh, you can feel free to call us. I'll have my phone number down there. Our address will be down there. Uh, you can go to our, you know, you can even visit, if you want to see what Campfire Ministries is all about, you can visit our website. It'll be in the description box below. Uh, just feel free to, you know, just, and uh, if you, even if you just need someone to talk to, to pray with about other issues, we'll be there for that as well. So, <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and close in prayer, and, uh, and this will be the end of it today. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you again for today, Lord. Lord, thank you for giving me insight and wisdom and knowledge and understanding to, to pass on to others, Lord, through this video. Lord, I just want to pray that it reaches someone out there, Lord, and that they come to know you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen.